Hi, it's Ace here from Skunk Nancy. Um, today I am trying out a new kind of pedal amp. Um, it's the AFK150 um, from Baroni. And uh, it's a, a kind of like a tube hybrid pedal amplifier, 150 watts kind of style. And I've had a little time to kind of plug it into my Marshall cabinet and give it a tweak. So I've kind of got a sound up for it. But first of all, the most important thing I notice is so this is the guitar turned down, okay? So if I turn up my volume, there's no noise. So for me, that's impressive straight away. There is no noise. Um, I, I don't use a lot of gain. So this is the kind of gain I would probably use on my amp. It's got a super solid tone. Sounds amazing, actually. I'm really, really impressed with it. Um, it does go properly loud as well. So um, whenever I test that up, I always seem to use the same kind of riff. It's like my kind of like standard testing riff, but it's something like this. So it's definitely super rich in harmonics. It sounds like a proper valve head. Okay, I know it does go really loud, but if I turn it up too loud here, everything's gonna distort. Right, but this is only the gain on here is only at um, about a third. Okay, so it's like eleven o'clock on the dial. So if I was to turn it up a bit, it's a super clean distortion, isn't it? drive is super super nice okay I and mean, if I if I wind it up to the top on the game so it definitely gives you a nice drive for a solo and listen how quiet it is it's still super super quiet and that's with it turned up full on the game Okay, so if I take it down a bit again, um, what, what's also really good about this, not only is it like the response, the response is really, really good. The tone is awesome. I mean, I can't floor, you know, can't say anything about the tone that's not good. Um, I'm using it on basses at three o'clock, mids are at one, and the treble is at one, and I've got the presence at about two, okay? And the volume is really low on the amp. I mean, I've got it, well, I've got it at half for the drive, should I say and then the gain is at about one o'clock or something like this, okay? So that's what I've got on this, this side here. But what I find is really impressive about it is when you turn the volume of the guitar down, It cleans up super, super nicely, which a lot of amps don't, you know, when you turn down the volume on your guitar, they kind of go dull. Well, this thing still retains the brightness. Um, it's not compressing either. So for me, it's actually quite amazing. And I said, it does go super loud. So it's loud enough to do a gig. So you can plug into your cabinet, you could take this and you could do a gig. And as you turn it up as well, um, it still retains a really, really good tone on it as well. So I'm super impressed. Okay, so the distorted sound is, is a given, isn't it? That's with the gain all the way up, okay? But it also has a switch on it for the clean sound. So the clean sound now, um, as you can see, is absolutely silent. So it's really super nice clean and it doesn't sound like a transistor clean. It sounds like a warm valve clean as well. Um, you can independently control the volumes, which is really nice. So you can set your clean and your dirty sound like you would a normal switch on an amp.
so I think clean sounds super nice. So that's the natural clean, and I can go straight back into my super distorted. The great thing is they both have independent volumes, drives, and EQs, which you don't get on all amps. Um, so on my clean, I've got the bass at uh, 11 o'clock, mids in the middle there at 12 o'clock, and I've got the treble up a bit on there. It's at about 3.30, 4 o'clock on my dial. And you can see they change color as I'm switching them across. Another great feature is it does have a standby up here. So you can uh, totally, you know, stand it, put it on standby when you're not playing it at a gig. I think it's amazing if you can just turn up to a show with this. It also works out, um, works well through the PA as well. So you've got a line out of it as well. So you can actually, you don't even need to go through a cabinet if you don't want to as well. So overall, I would say the pedal is definitely a winner. It definitely sounds like a head, like a valve driven head. It's got a really, really good tone. It's got a really good bite, really good attack. It's got low noise levels on it. Um, it's super light, super portable. I think it's kind of amazing.